Computer giant Apple says it's reinvented the phone, marrying a mobile with an iPod, giving birth to the iPhone. But it'll be some time before Australians can get their hands on one. It's the new look iPod that not only connects you to your music, but puts you in touch with the world. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. The sleek new gadget is called an iPhone, and Apple is counting on it to dominate the mobile phone industry, just as iPod has cornered the market when it comes to portable music players. An iPod. <laughs> a phone. It's also a computer and camera, and there isn't a keypad or button in sight. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. Oh. And now, thanks to another Apple gadget, you'll soon be able to wirelessly transmit your movies and music straight to your home entertainment system. Apple TV is a way to enjoy your media on your big screen TV. Apple TV goes on sale around the world next month and will cost around $400, but the new iPhone, which costs around $800, won't be available in Australia until next year. For Apple, the big picture is looking very profitable. Apple shares are up 7%. Everyone loves the iPod and what else would you want but a phone attached to it? iPods are such a part of everyday life now. Docking stations in cars don't raise eyebrows anymore. But they do make for a very complete modern day camper van. So I can, I can have my dinner and I got my tunes. It's the inbuilt the arsenal, though, that does raise eyebrows. Yeah, well, we don't recommend driving around in the city with it exposed right here, but for camping, it's great. In the United States, Lisa Goddard rolls 10 News.